Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to add business information in your Google Merchant Center Next account. Doing this properly ensures that you can set up your Google Shopping campaigns, your Performance Max campaigns, and get sales and profits for your e-commerce store. Doing it properly also helps you avoid the nasty Google Merchant Center suspensions that can stop your ads in their tracks and are a real pain to fix. This video will guide you through the process step by step, so let's get into it. First, let's go into our Google Merchant Center Next account and click on Business Info in the left-hand menu. Notice that we've got three tabs, Details, Stores, and Countries. Under Details, we see a box with the address and phone number that we added when setting up the account. Now, when we click edit business details, we can add more information below. For business name, you can change that here. Note that you want to use your trade name here, meaning the name under which you do business as. Don't include suffixes such as ink or co, or promotional text, emojis, or trademark symbols. Keep it simple or Google will take issue with it. Also note that this is the name that will be shown on your ads. Okay, for now, your business address. If you need to change it, you can do so here. Do not give Google a PO box or a rented mailbox address. This is against their policy and will guarantee a suspension. Ideally, your business address here will match the address you publish on your store's site. For customer service, you want to add the URL of your store's contact us page. You'll also want to add the email address that you'd prefer customers contact you with. For the phone number, note that this can be published by Google. So don't add a number you're not ready to take customer service calls on. Next, you can indicate if you provide customer support through live chat or a chatbot. Then you can select your preferred contact method. While this information isn't mandatory to provide to Google, since they look for it already on your website, you can skip this section. But I really recommend that you don't. Google can make errors and those errors can lead to a possible suspension. As I discussed in this video, which is part of our free Google Shopping course, Google is very serious about your transparency as a business. That means it wants you to be clearly available to shoppers that come to your site. Making sure that this information is correct, both on your site and here in GMC, is extremely important. We've seen hundreds of businesses make the mistake of neglecting this section and getting suspended. Next, let's talk about business identity attributes. If, as the store owner, you identify with any of these, be sure to click them on. There isn't any published data about how selecting these attributes affects campaign performance. However, there's strong evidence of consumer interest in diversely owned businesses. I strongly recommend turning the small business attribute on unless you happen to have more than 500 employees working for you. There are clear trends of growing customer support for supporting small businesses. If Google starts making it easier for them to find you as a small business, it makes sense to add this attribute. In the next section, Google asks for the social profiles of your store. If your store enjoys a strong social media presence, this makes sense to add. Google may choose to add your profile to your business information when it shows it to shoppers. That can help you gain trust from shoppers who rely on social media in their shopping journeys. Note that business identity attributes and social profiles are really only available to US businesses right now. The next section is only if you wish to advertise in South Korea you'll need to add your valid Korean business registration number here. And finally, if you're selling adult-oriented content, you'll need to check this box here. Okay, let's look at the Stores tab. If you have one or more physical store locations, this is where you'll connect them to your GMC account. This will enable Google to show your products locally where it sees opportunities to do so. The final tab is for Countries. You don't need to add the country your account is registered in, but it doesn't hurt to do it either. But if you're ready to start advertising and shipping to other countries, be sure to add them here. And that's how we set up our business information in Google Merchant Center next. This video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. It's a fully free course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month for your e-commerce store. It's completely free. I'll leave a link to the course down below. And if you're already generating 20K per month in sales with your e-commerce store and you need help getting it to the next level, my team and I do this every single week for other e-commerce stores. We do Google ads, Facebook ads, and conversion rate optimization. If you'd like to learn more about what we could do to grow your store to the next level, book a time with my team and I, we'd love to meet you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course, and I'll see you there.